Hi all, my name's Liz. I was born and brought up in Luton, and I love Luton. Um, my dad left home when I was five, and life was pretty hard really, but you know, we got by, we survived, and um, I, I wasn't brought up in a Christian family at all. I didn't really know anything about Jesus, only, um, you know, what they taught us in school, which wasn't a lot, and um, my family using the Lord's name in vain, really, you know, using it as a swear word. Um, but then, um, years later, I met Ken, he was my saviour, <clears throat> and we had two children and four grandchildren, which I adore, and um, Charlotte, um, I, I, we live on the high street and the church was opposite, so we used to walk past the church quite often. And Charlotte started to go with a friend to um, St Hugh's. Um, she joined the Brownies, then the Guides, and then she went to Pathfinders, which was a youth group. But, uh, you know, they used to do the Bible and pray and that. And... Um, she was 14, she came home this day and she said, Mum, Dad, can I be baptised and confirmed? So we said, yeah, because we thought, you know, the church was a safe place, it was a good place to go. So we were happy with that. So um, so come the day, we went to a baptism, which was lovely. And But I sat there and I had this overwhelming, it was a heat, my heart was pounding. I was like, you know, something's going on here. Anyway, and then in the evening was a confirmation. So I went to the confirmation and the same thing happened. And I thought, it's whatever was happening, I just didn't know what was happening, but I just wanted to find out more. So I started to go to church and this lady... Shirley Jenkins, who I knew from the guides and pathfinders, she came up to me and she said, I'm so, so happy that you're here. She said, I've been praying for you for years and you know, and now you're coming and I'm so happy, which really I thought that was, that was lovely for her to pray for me all that time. And um, so then she said, would I like to go on to... Um, Saints Live, which is like the Alpha, but um, yeah, just Bible study and, and praying and then you give your life to Jesus and you go through a process. So I said, yeah, I'd love to go. So I went and then when I finished the Saints Live, which was six weeks, um, I went into church and I got prayed for, for the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit came down on me and I will always remember that because you know it's when it rains in the church it's so loud isn't it and the rain it poured and poured and it was like the Holy Spirit pouring into me and that will stay with me till the day I die and uh, yeah and so I'm still journeying on with the Lord and um, it's been hard sometimes because my husband's been poorly as a lot of you know for many years and um, so, you know, God's been good to us. God's been really good to us. And, you know, he's, he's my go-to, you know, when I wanna, wanna, wanna cry or have a little vent, you know, I go there and, and you know, and I, and I pray and God's answered so many prayers. And, uh, you know, he's just a wonderful, wonderful father, the father that I never had. And, um, Yes, and I'd like to encourage you who, you know, when you're praying for people, if you've been praying for years, don't give up. Shirley never gave up on me, and that spoke to me as well. I never give up on praying for people. So I hope that's helpful. Bye. See you. Mwah.